let's begin and I love what I see are you kidding me we see the strength and the ten of cups might be a Leo who makes you happy um, ten of cups is the energy of a, of a blissful life of family of kids celebrations and um, yeah the Leo card is in reverse but can also be a little bit of frustration these days with um, a family member this person of yours this lover partner Eight of Swords, we feel blindfolded. Maybe that's why the frustration. It has this energy, Virgo, where we feel that is something uh, there and yet we cannot right point uh, what it is, but it is, right? Four of Swords, peace of mind, planning, strategizing, being smart about some things, thinking a lot what's going on. Can be the breakup. Uh, if you just separated from someone because you felt like blindfolded around this and um, deceived right we do have the queen of cups Pisces, cancer scorpio and the strength in reverse but i feel this is about your emotions and i kind of feel that we are not following virgo intuition because we are frustrated and overwhelmed with what's going on and we have the devil and the strength and the strength is in reverse all the time with us and speaks of frustration, anger, rage, right? Um, us not really being on our best behavior because it's like too much, you know? And we have the devil and then you show up. Look how beautiful, the hermit, the wise, right? We just know we went through this. We had the lessons already, right? So we, we, we know what this is all about. Shining a light on this situation, it's a matter of like minutes. And we do have the Ace of Cups <clears throat> in reverse. Maybe we are pushing a new beginning. Maybe somebody rejected us and we don't know why. Blindfolded, bound to this, that we have an explanation, wanting to shine a light. And the Five of Swords. Maybe we feel they took advantage of us, of you. I know I say us. I'm part of, of all this, but in a different way. So let's have Virgo at the bottom of the deck for the overall energy at this time. The most important one, I love this, we do have the star healing, Aquarius energy. So for some of you, you might be dealing with an Aquarius, but honestly, seeing all that frustration, kind of like the universe showing us, um, that we are so frustrated that we are not seeing the big picture and we are uh, eight of swords, right? We are being stuck in prisoner of our own mind. And uh, we do have the Seven of Cups in reverse. I love this. It's clarity in reverse, right? We are narrowing down options. We take only what's best for us. Only the perspective that's important to us. We can pick and choose. We can control the emotions we, we are having, right? The daydreaming, the confusion, the illusion. We are healing all of it. So let's see. For some of you, it's just a matter of perspective. If you have an Aquarius and deal with an Aquarius in your life, this is the most beautiful energy. It's like we've been confused. We've been in a fog. Guess what? Now I see. So past energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and neutral. Let's have current energies on your side, the person you are dealing with and neutral. Yeah, for some reason, we are um, having three and that's all right. It is really all right. It means there is a lot to be said and mutual. It's okay. Bottom of the deck, we have the Queen of Pentacles in reverse. This is your little bit upside down. Um, and Six of Cups, my only card I don't read in reverse. I know, I know. We still love them, I know. This is being reminiscent. This is living a little bit in the past and remembering the time and still having emotions for them, right? But we are seeing, we, which is good, right? Which is good. Seven of Cups in reverse it is. I see, I've been confused, but now I see. Yeah, I still miss them, but I, now, I, now I, I know better. So, um, Virgo, in the past, what happened? We do have the Death in reverse and the Four of Cups. Um, it's kind of like a thing that happened, an, an ending that happened, and we were not really paying attention. Uh, we, it's like unexpected. 
Four of Cups is looking at um, the cups in front of you and not seeing the opportunity in it. And Death in Reverse, we know, of course, can be a Scorpio energy. But I really feel that you've been like taken by surprise and that's where the confusion kicked in. And that's where we felt that we had no explanation. And then we had with the Eight of Swords to create one in our own mind so that, you know, we move towards um, the full uh, process till the Ace of Swords, uh, starting over and seeing things um, and a new vision. And I feel this is exactly what happened. We are still dealing with unfinished business, of course. But this is also the energy where the universe is kind of saying when we receive both of them, it's like, but the signs were in front of you, you know, of this ending. So whatever actually unfinished business we think we have just by by remembering what happened, actually the signs were right in front of you, but we, we were not seeing it, right? Now this person of yours has the Nine of Cups in Reverse and the Eight of Cups in Reverse. Um, I don't know if this was an in and out connection or, um, you know, you had, you had time with this person after separation, but it has this energy of not being emotionally detached um, completely and also being unhappy because of it, right? A lot of cups in reverse, which um, leads me to believe they were going through very sad times, actually, not getting what they wanted. Um, it has the energy of tears. Every time we see cups in reverse, we know it's the energy of sadness and tears and and dissatisfaction. And, and from time to time, they thought of um, coming back to you, right? That's the eight of cups, you know. But then... Um, it has this energy of going deeper and deeper in their sadness. So mutual energy is between the two of you, three of swords in reverse, two of swords in reverse, and um, the king of wands in reverse. It might have been a, an Aries, Leo, Sagittarius, but honestly, it feels like a decision. It, first of all, it was uh, a very hurtful situation. Three of swords is the energy of heartbreak, and it's mutual. So both of you, whatever happened, it was um, really hurting for both of you. But then there was a decision, right? To stop suffering, a decision to do something about, a decision to start and heal the situation. And you have healing all over you, Virgo, by the way. Um, and it starts with the clarity of the mind and it started in the past with the decision, right? That's the two of swords in reverse. And then we have this king of wands in reverse. I believe somebody was lacking passion towards this connection, maturity, leadership, a desire to do something. It's kind of a, a situation where nothing moves and um, it becomes um, stagnant and painful and we've made a decision about, right? It's like uh, prolonging the death of, of some sort, you know, it's like artificially, right? So it, it has this feeling of, you know, we, and it's interesting, right? Because the loyal Virgo probably was um, staying in this uh, way longer than, um, than you should, or you should have, right? And uh, nobody was happy, nobody was happy. That was a time of, of fulfillment, but then, and then somehow it stopped and it became very difficult. So where are we right now, Virgo? We do have the Eight of Wands in reverse, we have the Seven of Wands in reverse, and the Six of Wands. Wow, a lot of Wands in reverse. So I feel that we are uh, staying put for now, I'm not seeing a lot of um, um, a lot of action, but I absolutely see you thinking about what happened. And we have moments, right? We have moments of defensiveness. Sometimes we have moments of shame, and sometimes we have the frustration of the stagnation. Um, it's like, yeah, but I want to get moving. I want to see things moving. I want to do stuff. You know, eight of wands is all about projects and and things you you have somewhere on a list of some sort. And um, but then, right, seven of wands in reverse is like, yeah, but I need to come out of it um, in some way. I don't know the shame. You explain to me the shame. Somebody here is not happy with what's going on, but it has a sense of responsibility or a sense of I hope nobody's watching. Now this person of yours, nine of pentacles and the empress in reverse. And... Um, it is being single, right? It is being single and having nothing left to give at this time. This is somebody focusing on their financial well-being, financial independence, their health, 
um, it has a sense of autonomy, right? Um, what makes them happy at this time. And the other person is somehow the energy of family commitment, right? And, uh, and um, um, doing stuff where everybody is brought together, but um, not this case, right? They go solo. Mutual energies between the two of you. We do have the Ace of Cups in reverse, the Five of Swords, and the Two of Cups. So we are uh, disconnecting right now. It is a struggle. It is a struggle with the Five of Swords for both of you. Uh, but I'm, I'm not seeing at this time. We'll see with the outcome. But at this time we are disconnecting, probably long distance. Two completely different energies. One very practical, which is usually your energy, Virgo. So maybe you are this uh, on this side, right? Nine of Pentacles, the Empress, and of course you swap sides, you only take what resonates, even if it's on both sides. And we have someone here, um, you know, stagnant. And mutual energies, I'm, it's, it's disconnection for now. It's uh, pushing away of possibility of renewal with the Ace of Cups, the possibility of an offer. That is one. <clears throat> That is one on the table, but we are struggling at this point, both of you, um, struggling internally. I'm, I'm not seeing a conflict. I, I see more with yourself and with themselves. Um, so the outcome of this, we do have two of wands and the ace of wands in reverse. I feel that it's up to you to choose a path, Virgo. It's kind of like the universe saying, yes, you are at crossroads, but you need to make that choice that you know will bring you passion. I will bring you new beginnings. It, it, once you choose, because that's exactly the energy, so once in reverse, you need to have this passion inside of you. You know, you need to revamp the fire again. And two of ones, it's, it's going to be up to you to see the, um, the path, the two paths that are offered to you and choose the one that makes you passionate again. Now this person of yours, nine of ones, ten of ones. Well, so burdened and blocking. I believe they are healing. Nine of Wands is the wounded warrior. It is the energy of, um, you know, of a safe environment right now. Um, very focused on, again, themselves um, at this time and disconnecting in order to get a form of, um, of independence of some sort and a sense of well-being. We are all blocking out, blocking other people because of COVID, right? In a way, in a sense, uh, we stay away, but this person is like, they stay away and they are burdened by it. Um, but it has a purpose. It has a purpose of healing for both of you. Mutual energies between the two of you, the magician in reverse, the three of cups in reverse and the king of pentacles. So Virgo, this is your energy and no matter what, we are good. Some food for thought. We have a little bit of manipulation. We have a little bit of unhappiness getting a grip on our ability to manifest new things, to start a new beginning, to have that fire in your belly again. And I say that because you also have exclusively on your side the Ace of Wands in reverse and the Two of Wands. That is a new beginning. That is something that it is in your energy, but you need to identify it and you need to choose it on your path, right? That is the outcome of it. And you have the energy for it. King of Pentacles upright is you being in your own element, you seizing opportunities, seizing the day. But we might have, again, the magician in reverse, we might not be able to manifest something because of unhappiness that we are going through and we allow to be blindfolded, right? Or manipulated by emotions, by our own emotions, right? And... Um, and that is why the universe, we started with the star, which is the energy of healing, right? It's the energy of perspective, it's the energy of, al of alignment, of, al of um, accepting what's going on and changing what's on your path and change absolutely is coming. Now, I am seeing this connection and not love, uh, Virgo, because this person is simply incapable of love at this time. Um, but let's ask for some guidance. Let's see what we need to do and how we need to manage this. So Virgo, you are a sacred woman or that is a sacred woman in your environment. You might be a masculine and I love the sacred woman. This is acting from a place of spirituality, forgiveness, kindness, unconditional love. Um, this is understanding 
and putting all the energies back into the flow because we do not want to block them. And we are having the distorted masculine, so clearly coming from two different energies at this point. That is an acknowledgement that that is uh, distort. It, I, it's kind of rough, distorted masculine, but that is something they need to work on. That is, um, every time I see, I we receive this energy, it feels like somebody needing to put back all the pieces of the puzzle. We do have emotional freedom. So, um, and it, the reading is in alignment with the guidance because we have on this side somebody putting back the pieces. Nine of Pentacles is uh, putting back the pieces till um, they are independent and autonomous and Nine of Wands, Ten of Wands, right? They are really blocking and disconnecting and healing themselves. And while they do that, I feel, Virgo, that you are guided to disconnect slowly. I love this worthiness, right? So we come from two different frequencies. And, and maybe we go about our day thinking, you know, why in the world it doesn't work. So thank God it doesn't, right? Because the frequency is different. And when people are not on the same frequency, well, we know it's um, doomed to um, to separation, right? It's just the way it is. Um, so speaking of the same frequency, life attracts like. Like attracts like. If you long for more love, be more loving. I kind of feel it's more, it's not about being loving, Virgo, you are so loving. Um, I feel that the universe is pointing out again, sacred woman distorted a masculine. So one has to heal, the other one is already where uh, they need to be. Can be ascending, uh, can be still in the journey, but definitely we need some emotional freedom for this situation. We need some self-esteem. And we need to attract exactly the people we deserve in our life, right? Um, and allow other people to heal. So let's see um, what else is there for us. It's interesting how it's all connected to the whole reading, right? All connected. Somebody here is blocking um, for good reasons, you know? So let's see what we have. Energies to put back into the flow, we do have virtue. You acknowledge your loving spiritual attributes that encourage others to grow. So we have virtue. We have acceptance, right? And it's sacred woman and virtue. And we know like a Virgo, right? The, the principles and morals they attach themselves to. It's a beautiful thing to see. And I kind of feel that this is what we need to focus on, right? We have the distorted masculine with acceptance. I am learning to accept the things I cannot change. So this person needs some um, work up here, right? They need something um, to focus on. And it is on themselves. And we need to accept. We are guided to accept that. We do have emotional freedom and abundance. I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in my physical reality. Such a non point combination of energies, right? Your emotional freedom comes with affirmations of abundance. You are limitless. That's how you set yourself free, right? By really being aware and activating that uh, train of thought, right? I am a limitless being and I can manifest whatever I desire in this physical reality. And we do have surrender to setting limits and it's again limitless, right? So it's twice the same message. Your emotional freedom comes from understanding your worthiness and that there are no limits, actually. And you are everything you need, right? So it is healthy to set boundaries in relationships. Practice expressing your needs and remember that no is a complete sentence. And bottom of the deck, surrender the idea you can fix someone. And we do have the distorted masculine acceptance and now surrender to the idea you can fix someone three times the same message so it's time for a relationship to shift it doesn't work to try to fix someone each person must be accountable for his or her own healing and you do have like attracts like so if you are all healed and ascended that you are already away on your spiritual path well some food for thought right somebody is behind so what are you going to do you know um so Virgo, 
that's all that I have for you guys. You know I love you. I wish you nothing but the best. I want you to stay strong and safe. And come see me next time. Love you. Take care.